Hey everybody, welcome back to another boxing. Today we have Load Runner Legacy from Strictly Limited Games. Now, yes, it is open, and yes, I was a dumbass for deleting my title footage, so that's why we're redoing it all over again. But this game was published back in 1983, and its video game series pretty much has over 20 plus video games throughout its whole time period. And it even has some on the Nintendo DS and the Xbox 360. Now, it's more a nostalgic feeling for those older gamers, but at the same time, this was one of the first games that had an ed editor level onto it as well. So let's get this unboxing started. First looking at the postcard from Strictly Limited, it's a nice little gameplay rendition of like a 3D perspective instead of the 2D perspective which you're actually going to play. But now getting into this box, I was kind of excited about this game, like I said more or less for the nostalgic factor, but looking at what the contents inside for this game was, I really wasn't excited and I would understand why a lot of other people were, uh, wouldn't be as excited either. Um, the older generation of gamers definitely would be buying this game, but the newer generation I don't think would. Um, I do like the outside box. It has that matte look of what Strictly Limited has on their cover sleeve on the outside. I really like that. I don't know what's under the sleeve which is really cool. I like the back side. It kind of has like that Minecraft-esque. You'd think that actually Minecraft would have got something from this game maybe. You never really know. But we're gonna slide this cover off. I do like the cover. Wow. The underside of this box is freaking amazing. That is beautiful, everyone. Wow, did they even show you in the actual Strictly Limited what the under? Yeah, they, no. Yeah, they did, okay. But it, I really don't think it does it justice. Online doesn't do it justice. I really like this. I don't know what it is that the online looks so much not so much worse. I really love that like old school 70s futuristic kind of like when you're in the 1920s and everything like looked futuristic when they would pretend what the future would look like. I would have never expected the box to actually look this good compared to the online picture. I mean like I was really skeptical about buying this because it didn't really have much content in it but I guess we're gonna open it up for y'all. So here's the strictly limited little pop of the magnetic seal and then <gasps> Wow, they don't, I'm like looking over to see if they even show you in the picture. This is great. This is an awesome box. Like you see how much art does to a collector's edition? Here's the CD right on the front. Um, I don't know what the actual music is gonna be, if it's gonna be a uh, pixel bit or if they added new music or if it's still just the same old game or anything like that, but I'm really excited to hear uh, the music again. And we got the one-sided poster right here, which I'm all right with posters. I'm getting a little bit lackluster with the posters. We got the stickers right here, which actually, they're really cute. I thought they'd be the, uh, the 2D perspective of the uh, gameplay, but they're actually the 3D picture rendition, like this art book right here, which I was mostly excited to get um, in this collector's edition. And then you have the game right on top right here. Look at how cool that is, everyone. That just looks cool. You know what I mean? Like going back to those old school games and they actually have like what it would look like on the inside if you played. Uh, Great job, Strictly Limited. All right, so pretty sure that's the rest of it. We're gonna get everything set up and get right into it. So getting into the sticker sheet, this really shows you how much customization not only you can do in the game for the levels, but as the characters and enemies themselves. Now getting from this sticker sheet, we're gonna open up this poster one-sided, and I'm really hoping it's the actual, yeah, it looks like it's the poster from the, yeah, look at that, guys, that just, that looks awesome. Like this reminds me of Dragon Layers uh, Collector's Edition, but uh, it really does remind me of the art. I really do like that old school art. The poster is awesome. I really do like it. The stickers and the posters are, are, are just great right now. I, I really have nothing to complain about, but now we're gonna get into the actual uh, CD for the game, and then we're gonna get into the, the game and then the book itself, which I'm really excited for because there's so much customization you can do in this game. But let's open up the CD, which it has 25 songs on it. And the CD is a little bit bare bones. I wish it actually had a little bit more to it. Well, I really hope that 1983 music is back on this track list, but we're gonna open it up for everybody right now. We're gonna see what's on the inside. Ooh, there's no clip. I usually get a clip on these CDs. It doesn't really look anything. I'm kind of disappointed. Yeah, it's it's really just bare. That's uh, It's really disappointing. And then let's see what's under the CD. There's probably nothing under the CD. Yep, nothing under the CD. All right, that CD was the most disappointing CD I've ever opened. Yep, 
very lackluster. Well, I mean, if you have two things good, you might as well ex ex expect something bad. Excuse me for my uh, stuttering, but uh, here we are. We have the game coming out for you. Uh, again, it's the same thing I'm pretty sure as the front cover, except the backside has the uh, gameplay graphics, which again, I really do like the picture of this game though. It looks really cool. I love the bomb in the background. It looks really cute, but I really wish they could have added a little bit more, but I do like him how he's just right in the corner on the backside as well. Um, release number 28. All right, Strictly, what you got on the inside? And, all right. I mean, it definitely is the same picture as the postcard, and it looks like the same picture as a couple of other things, uh, including the book, except just reversed, but I mean, I like it. It uses up the whole inside cover, kind of disappointed there's no manual, because that would have been cool. Um, but then you have the cart itself, which I actually like a lot more than the inside cover because it's such a long photo that it fits so well in the cart because it kind of uses like a focal length point of which it makes it look longer than it actually is. Oh my. Well, that teaches me not to have any drinks on my table when I'm doing an unboxing. <laughs> but nothing was hurt in the collector's edition. Thank God we just had a little mix up with the drink. Uh, my laptop is a little bit soaked, but it'll be fine. But getting back into the Switch, the uh, cart is still one of my favorite things. But from here, we're gonna get into the book and then I'll be done with the unboxing, everybody.
Alright everybody, that was my unboxing for Load Runner Legacy from Strictly Limited Games. Now I actually found out something a little bit interesting, that this game series has over 20 plus games in it, and it had a game come out for the Nintendo DS and the Xbox 360 as well. I obviously overlooked those, but I'm really excited to get into this one. Now it ran about 50 euro, 55 dollars US, and for the nostalgic feeling, I really, really liked it. I liked the collector's edition box, the art book was really cool, the stickers, the poster, and even the postcard, but the only thing I didn't really like was the CD and maybe like the inside game, but I mean for $55 I think it's right on the price point, but I'd understand why other people don't really need it as much. But what'd you guys think about this unboxing? I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys follow me on Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter at Hubbalubaloo. I hope you guys subscribe to my channel for more unboxings just like this one. I'll be coming more out with more in the future. Sorry I got a tongue twister going on there. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I'll see you next time.